The controversial Lil Pump is back, ladies and gentlemen, and his new song, Butterfly Doors, is everything you would have expected for the young rapper. Butterfly Doors and more. And many have already spoken about the song, and not exactly in a good way. But with lyrics and a music video to break down, there is a lot you could have missed. So watch as I show you all the things you missed in the song. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to King Trending. Number 5. Controversy Out of the Gate as noted, Lil Pump is a very controversial rapper, and in Butterfly Doors, he decides to go even more controversial with a racist slur. To be fair, it's not the most heinous of slurs, he's done much worse, as other rappers have, but it's one that is derogatory, and many people took notice of it. In the song, he says the line, They call me Yao Ming, cause my eyes real low. Ching Chong. For those who don't know, Yao Ming is a Chinese basketball legend, he's one of the tallest people to ever play basketball in the NBA, and is by and large the most famous Chinese player of all time. That's not the slur, the slur actually comes from the words Ching Chong, which is a slur because of the early days of the United States, we associate the Chinese using weird words and sounding like, well, idiots, which they clearly are not. Plus, the eyes real low is a slur because of the stereotype that Chinese people have pointed, squinty eyes, and thus make their eyes real low. In the first video for Butterfly Doors when Lil Pump sang this line, he actually made a gesture with his eyes to make him look Chinese. Upon the release of the first video, many prominent Asian actors and rappers spoke out against Lil Pump, including one Asian rapper doing a diss track against him. While an actor from the hit 2018 movie Crazy Rich Asians made some remarks about this on Twitter. For the star and the rapper herself, Aquafina said, Always nice to hear a new song with a Ching Chong ad lib. Guess it's better than Eyes Chink, like some other verses I've heard. The Queen's native wrote on Twitter, But can we at least think of some more creative race Lil Pump? Lil Pump eventually conceded to all of the negativity and redid the music video and track to mute out the line and made the following apology i seen the whole thing going on the internet and all that i came here to tell you from my part that i'm sorry and i apologize for posting that it was not my intentions to hurt anybody or do none of that i got asian homies you know i f with everyone and i got nothing against nobody it's all love it was not my intentions to hurt nobody or do none of that while it may be all love, it's not something that people will ignore, and this is no doubt going to add to Lil Pump's infamy, which may actually be why he did this, as many other rappers in the world, including Wiz Khalifa, have done similar jams at Asian culture. Number 4. Shoutouts 2018 had a lot of themes if you looked hard enough at them, but one that really stood out was that many, many rappers were all for promoting some people that helped them make their songs, specifically their producers, and in Butterfly Doors, the first line of the track is actually a shout out to the song's producers. CB on the beat. CB is actually an abbreviation for CB Mix, which is the full name of Lil Pump's producer for the song, as well as many other songs that have been made by Lil Pump. He made his collaboration with Kanye West in I Love It. Other tracks that he's helped make include Esketed, Multimillionaire, and the 2017 track At The Door. CB on the beat. But what does this all mean? Well, it signifies that Lil Pump is really appreciative of CB Mix's skills to the extent that they were worthy enough to be put into a song. And while you may think that a simple shout out isn't enough to get a producer to smile, you'd be surprised. Usually a lot of people who get credits for the songs are the singers themselves, and maybe some of the sound guys who helped make the killer beat, but not as much as the producers. A lot of singers like Lil Pump are making sure that they get the credit that they are due, even if that means singing out a little ditty in their honor. Another way of looking at this is that because Lil Pump is name dropped this guy, he's singing out to other rappers that if they want a quality track made, they should try out CB Mix, which could end up getting him more tracks to do, which means more money in his pocket and more recognition. So in a way, Lil Pump is doing him a big solid by name dropping him like this. Number three, showing the butterfly doors. Butterfly doors. Space, space, cool blood like a UFO. If you're not a car person, you might not understand the term butterfly doors. It's a reference to cars, specifically when certain cars are so exotic that they don't open the usual way. Instead of going outwards, the doors will go vertical. And when both doors are up in the air, like they can be, they appear to look like butterflies, and thus butterfly doors. Goddamn, two Lamborghinis with the butterfly doors. So that begs the question, why would Lil Pump sing about this notion feature of an exotic car? Well, it's because if you want to get said cars, you have to have the money to buy them. And trust me when I say that he most definitely has the money to spend on them, for despite what Google said in 2018, his net worth is actually around $6.5 million. Just so you know, Google said he was only worth around $150,000. And he made a video calling them out on that. So yeah, he has the money to buy said cars, and in much of the music video, he shows off all the cars that he can that have this special 
special feature, emphasizing that he's so rich that he can have a fleet of these cars waiting for him at the drop of a hat. And then take them out to do whatever he wants. And he's right about that fact. He does have that amount of money. But it's more than just the money it costs to buy them. It's all about the status and symbolism that it gives the owner. For if you have these cars, a person will look at you and go, wow, they must be doing well to have a car like that. And yeah, Lil Pump is doing rather well. And he's had a very good 2018 with some big hits and collaborations that led him to being worth even more in terms of net value. Yet as the music video also shows, if you have these kind of cars, you also have a good shot at getting the ladies. But the ladies will notice when you have a hot car and Lil Pump has plenty of nice looking ladies in his video to make clear that point as well. While it may not be the term you're familiar with beforehand, I'm gonna be guessing that you've once dreamed about having a car like this for one reason or another. Ironically enough though, Lil Pump technically doesn't own a car with butterfly doors, or at the very least, it hasn't been shown off to the public at large. Number two, money lost. Oh, I got a Glock in my drench. Uh -huh. oh. As previously noticed, Lil Pump is without a doubt one of the most controversial of the young rappers in this day and age. And recent events are actually noted about in this song. Able it from Lil Pump's unique point of view. He sings in the song, Cancel Show, Lost 100K, 100K. Make that back in a half a day, half a day. Just got out of jail, got another case. Uh -huh. Cancel the show, lost 100K, 100K. Like half a day, half Whoa. In 2018, Lil Pump was arrested for driving without a license because he was suspended. This is actually a really big offense, and because he was detained for a certain amount of time, he actually had to cancel an entire tour that he was set to do. It was his Harvard dropout tour, which was already controversial, but that's for another video. As for why this is a unique point of view kind of thing, Lil Pump states that he lost 100K on a tour being canceled, but he didn't. He actually lost about $1 million, which is not an insubstantial number. Which begs the question, why did Lil Lil Pump lie about how much he lost? Did he simply not care? Or was he so embarrassed that he lost that amount of money that he didn't want people to know how much he actually blew because of his mistake? Honestly, it could be any one of them. And that's actually part of the problem. Lil Pump knows that he's rich and he flaunts it off as much as he can. And he does stupid things because he feels his money will get him out of any jam. In one really odd Instagram video, he went and dumped $100,000 on the ground and then relieved himself on it. If you get my drift. Hey there. This odd behavior has led to his controversies in many ways, including a recent event in 2018 where he decided to have some illegal substances before doing a show in Denmark. He then got caught and was arrested. No big deal given the circumstances, but during the arrest when the officers were confirming what to do next outside of the car, Lil Pump decided to get his phone out and do a live video about his arrest and even flipped off the officers. Sure enough, they noticed and he got arrested again. And though he was only fined $800, he was actually kicked out of Denmark and banned for two years. And while that's true that Lil Pump has many things that bring in money, I seriously doubt that he made a half a million in less than a day. 50K, which he sings in the song, maybe. But that might be the real reason he said he only lost 100K on the tour cancellation. Number one, what's my name? There are two things that are the most important to a rapper when they start out, their name and their singing style. For these two things are the identifiers that allow them to push their brand into the world. Lil Pump has made his name and his brand this way. But there was a point in 2018 where Lil Pump seemed to want to change his name to Jet Ski, which is why it's very interesting that in Butterfly Doors, he sings out Jet Ski, Jet Ski. He actually went to Instagram to reveal that he was changing his name and a lot of news channels called out on it. And then Lil Pump actually deleted the story. And obviously we're still calling him Lil Pump now. So it's clear that he changed his mind. But why be called Jet Ski anyway? Well, it's really not clear, but the biggest guess is that he really likes jet skis. On his debut album, Lil Pump was actually riding a jet ski. And given his $6.5 million value, I'd be shocked if he doesn't have a few jet skis lying around. He's from Florida after all. What he might have realized though, is that while many rappers have changed their names, <coughs> did he? <coughs> It's usually at the beginning of their careers when they're still establishing themselves and Lil Pump is established and a name change could hurt his brand, but he likely still remembers when he did almost change his name and thus wanted to have fun and reference it here. So what did you think of our breakdown of Butterfly Doors? Do you think that this is Lil Pump's most controversial song yet? Or do you think this is on par with everything that he's done so far? Also, what was your favorite part of the song or music video? And do you think that we missed something? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on King Trending. Hey, just a reminder that we're changing up the giveaways. From now on, we're offering the Galaxy Note 9, the one that comes with the exclusive Fortnite skin, the new iPhone X Max, which we'll pre-order for you, and the new Apple Watch Series 4, which we'll also pre-order for you. The winner gets to decide between these three, 
Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, drop a like, and comment the hidden message in the video for a chance to win. You got nothing to lose. Go for it.